quarter begins. Papua versus LPU, another edition of their Battle of Intramuros. And here's how we will start here. Egleyane, corner shot, nothing there. Hasn't exactly been the strength for Mapua today. Their three-point shooting. Better boxing out for LPU. Once again, rebound touches, tapik-tapik. Laking bagay niyan. Mapua is just one out of 17 from long distance. LPU. Yep. Clintus Camis pa lang, nakatama uh, sa kanila ng dress. Yeah. Egleyane, inside pass. That's big-to-big -big action. Egleyane going to the cutting Chris Hobilia, who will be given opportunity at the free throw line. That was a coach Randy Alcantara. A few seasons now with the senior team of Mapua after spending a lot of time in the juniors division. Was the assistant coach for Coach Atoiko for uh -huh. a while before he took over. He's been there for some time now, right? Yeah. At the coach Randy. Uh -oh. And two finals appearances Rays. as Hubilia cleans up his own miss. Naman, starting like a house on fire to get Hubilia. Crashing the board, offensive rebounding. This is exactly how we started the game. 12 points now for Chris. Barba still silent in the game, almost losing it. Now completely loses it. They're really shutting down Ato Barba. Barba is just one out of two from the field, only has two points. Look at Tobilia grabbing the board and following it up. Maybe not something with the Escanis. Escanis to the corner again. Igliane will try. No. There you go, that's over the back. That's what I'm looking at with the rules with the NCAA. Because usually, when you're boxing out, you want to push them out. What you're doing with other teams, you're going to win. But under FIBA, if they jump over you, it's an over the back foul. So that's what I'm calling it. So it's good to be clear with our officials. Because it's hard to win with that. Montaño. That's a good one. Montaño. But quickly to Hobilia and Chris will finish again. Another and one opportunity for Hobilia. Parang laro sa plaza. Pagka rebound, hagis agad. Chris Hobilia, 14 in the game. And he gets another chance at the free throw line. Grabbing Chris Hobilia coming off a... 17-point performance versus the Red Lions today. He is closing, closing in to that number with 14 already. Rami pa tayong lalaro in dito. Then putahan natin ang ating kutsa reporter mula sa dugout. Here is Kayla Abate. Things were looking good for the LPU Pirates at the half, and Coach Gilbert was definitely aware of that. He opened the halftime session by applauding his team, telling them that he appreciates their intensity in rebounding and their efforts in boxing out. Now, all he wants for his team is to limit their turnovers, which are higher than their usual average, and to not be complacent in bringing the ball down. He ended by affirming his team that he believes in them and that they will definitely win as long as they work as one. All for now, back to you, Martin and Coach Hammer. Thanks, Kayla. Well, they want to duplicate what they did in the first round, and those were exactly the problems of LPU in the first half. Rebounding, they're slowly addressing that, limiting the offensive boards of the Mapua Cardinals. Turnovers, though, is still another story, Coach Hammer. Yep. Pass and turnovers, they to start off that yeah. game. Good kick out. Kailig recovers there. To an eight point lead for Mapua, a five to nothing at that. That's a problem. McLeod slid as he was driving while he slammed on the brakes here. Ito, dumula si McLeod. So, in total, this is now eight unanswered points for Mapua ever since the tail end of the second quarter. Hubilia. Short staff, Concepcion, too strong. And here comes Maclod Guadagna. LPU trying to counter. 
Kunanan crossing over. Kunanan slices and puts it up and in. Plus the foul for Greg Kunanan. Mamaan lang laro sa NC. Yung ganong galaw. Kasi wala ka nang pupuntahan eh. Sinigsig na niya sa ilalim. Rejecting the screen. Just going one-on-one. -on -one. Just imposing himself against the defender. Ganun talaga eh, guard to big. Kasi si Concepcion is more of a four guy than a wing guy. Yes. Ina-attake yung hips eh. If you can't get low, and if you can't anchor yourself, a-attakehin. I-open yan yung gates eh. Open the gates. Yung hips. Kunana just went around. Yang Concepcion, hold on. Free throw was made. Teka. Uy. Eh, foul. Foul? Tailig. We'll have a review of the last play. Oh, sinasabi ni Dailig, nakakapit kasi sa jersey. And that's an automatic and sportsman-like foul. Ayun, nakakapit yeah. sa jersey. Yes, Category 3 yan, if I'm not mistaken. So, free throw counts. 28 na yung score dito ng uh, LPU. We'll see though what happened in the rebound sequence, in the positioning. Oh. Ayan, Ay, no? Ay, yung sinasabi. Pili pumipiglas kasi siya. Oo. Uh -oh. Yung hawak sa jersey, yun din sinasabi ni Coach Gilbert. Anytime that you grab jersey, it's automatic and unsportsmanlike foul. Category 3 yan. Malinaw na malinaw yan. Under FIBA rules. Yeah. But I'm curious because our referees initially signaled number 24. Ayun, yung pag-swing kasi. Ah. Kasi usually, pagkakakapit, gusto mo tanggalin yung kapit para makaswim ka. Okay. So, tingnan natin, ha? baka tinawagan yung retaliation. Yun nga. So, oh. as it turns out, si Dailig pa yung natawagan. Oh. Kasi kitang-kita natin, nakakapit dun sa jersey. Eh. Pero yung pag-swing. Ayan, oh, ito, ito. Ito, yung right arm. Tira mo. Kasi kumapit eh. Pagkapit, hatak. Nasok yung kamay. Hindi yung dapat nag-retaliate sa ganyan. Pero ang hirap din kasi emotional rin, yeah. kinapitan ka. Mm. Two free throws. So, two free throws, press possession for Mapua. Andre Igliane proceeds to the line. Yep. Kaya dapat yung ganyan, yung mga poses before. Ang sinasabi, pagka pa-boxouting ka, kakapitin ka, banggain mo ng malakas. Ha? Kasi kung tatawagan ka ng foul, huwag ka manununtok. Banggain mo ng malakas para mararamdaman niya kasi ha? nakatalikod din sa'yo eh. It's not outside the game. Uh, be, be a little bit more physical and let them know na off. Oh, teka lang. Laro tayong basketball. Katawan sa katawan. Oh, dapat ligan yung bawi mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi actually hindi nga bawi. Yun lang naman yun eh. Para mabaklas mo yun. Uh, hit. You gotta hit. You yeah. gotta hit back eh. Corner 3. Finally falls for Lawrence Mahuba. Only the second triple of the game for Mapua. Backload catch and shoot. Good rhythm shot. That one rims out. And here comes Mapua. They're trying to establish our first double-digit lead. Mangubat, nothing there. Daile grabs it. Villegas, oh, out of control, lost it. Natapikan sa likod. Cyrus Cuenco to the cutting is Camis. Malin is going to be called for the offensive foul. Yep, Igliani nakakapit. So foul here on the big guy. Andre Igliane off the inbound. Pagkaikot, tira agad para kay Mahubat. That's a shot. Especially on the left side corner. Left corner pocket, that's the spot of Lawrence Mahubat. So JC Recto back in the fold. Nine point lead. This is the largest so far by the Mapua Cardinals. Last time they established this was 25 to 16. Pagkatapos dun, humabol ang LPU. We'll see if that will happen again. Greg Kunana. Bring the ball across. Fred Villegas. Back to Kunana on top with 12 to work with. Greg. Greg to the corner. Tahilig. That's his sweet spot. Masyado malakas. Saved by Escanis, and here comes Mapua. Concepcion, pinag-isipan yung dress. He is covered by the Elex, so well, he will retreat. Escanis has the basketball. Clint. Clint. 
got in, recto. Nope. Daide comes away with it. Here's Villegas, he'll back up. They're trying to find some points. Talking about LPU. Lord against Concepcion, a foul on Jan Concepcion. Galing bumasa nung Goda niya. Kasi ang ginagawa naman ni Concepcion, he would try to swipe yeah. and then sw stop short para pag bumangga ka, maiimpeed ka. Smart attackers will clip that and then he would be called for a foul. We'll go to a quick break. Nine point lead for the Cardinals. Sa season 99 ay may new heroes of the game nitong unang siglo ay meron ding OG heroes ang NCAA. Hindi lang kasi mga sports legends at mga sikat na celebrities ang naging bunga ng NCAA schools. Kundi pati na rin ang mga pambansang bayani ng Pilipinas at dating presidente. Produkto ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran ang mga revolusyonaryong sina Apolinario Mabini at Emilio Jacinto. Ganun din ang mga dating presidenteng si Manuel Quezon, Sergio Osmeña at Jose P. Laurel. Si Ramon magsaysay... Sa mga volleyball players ng LPU Lady Pirates, Jonah Dolorito. Ayan o, oh. makikita yung sa likod ni Panelo. Ayan. <laughs> Sige. Lakas pumalo oh, yan. Si Coach Cromwell. Nandiyan din, Coach Cromwell Garcia along with their assistant coach right in the middle. Si, yeah, si Coach Wanta. Ayan. So, Coach Cromwell Garcia... <laughs> Head coach of uh, the Lady Pirates. Kung pwede mag cross train, no? Ang daming ah, mga pwede, player pwede. nitong men's na athletic. Oo. Oo, oh, yung Villegas, Peñafiel, yung yeah. Dailig. Pwedeng middle yung Dailig. Eh. Yeah. Oo nga, no? Pwedeng middle. Yeah. Kasi uh, first sem, tsaka second sem sport naman eh. So, ang sinasabi mo, nagre-recruit si Coach Crowe. Yeah. Kailangan pwede. Pwede. <laughs> Kailangan pwede kasi, alam mo, sa college sports, ganyan talaga. Yeah. Yung iba, nagka-track and field. Yeah. And here's McClure Guadagna. Tsaka yun naman yung sinasabi rin nila Coach Burke, di ba? Maging uh, complete athlete. Overall, hindi ka lang nagsispecialize sa isa. Yeah, that's right. Another offensive rebound here. Also gives you options. Uh -huh. an athlete. Coach, penalty na itong mabuwa. Five and a half to go in the third quarter. Cuenco drains the corner triple. Told you, shot maker. Shot maker by Cuenco. Mabuwa is starting to heat up from the outside. They now build and establish the first double-digit lead of the game. 40 to 29. Daine took it himself. Why not? Small forward, no? 6-5 na small forward. Dito he is forced to play 4. 4-5 eh. ang nilalaro niya dito. But this guy is a small forward. The way that he releases his shot. Yeah. The way that he moves. Bira natin siya makita umatake. Oh, yeah. usually catch and shoot eh. Ito ka sa Escamis got the skip. Nothing there. Greg, or Greg, Barba from straight away. Barba knocks it down. So, five unanswered for LPU to counter Mapua's run. Yun pala yung unang dress nitong LPU uh -huh. after missing their first 12 attempts from the outside. Oh, Barba. And you get the stop on the other side. Laile being pressured by Mamubat. Verzosa. Maklod. Seven to work with. They need to get busy. Guadagna driving. Guadagna got deep. He falls down. And he is called for a walk. Kanina pa libre yung Dailig. On that baseline. Yeah. Pizza. No, it's not a good look by Sai Quenco. I told you, Sai Quenco is uh, really the best We're point of a lot. Now, 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 in half court. Yes. And one of their better decision makers. Yeah. So, they're the two of Clint Escamis. Really. Must they execute on that pick and roll action? Because he's one that's in the corner. This si is Sai Quenco off the bench, leading the second oh. unit. But in the second half, he starts. It's okay na kasama ka sa last five kaysa sa first five. That's right. Finishing five, yun yung pinakamaganda eh. Nobody wins in the first quarter, but you can uh, have winning habits in the first quarter. Oh! Lawrence wow. Mangubat! Mangubat! With a confident-looking stroke. That is the fourth triple of the game for Mabua. 
three here in the third quarter. Da Ilek, no. Tip in, wala pa rin. Punanan. Guadagna, catch and shoot. Wala pa rin para kay Maklod. And there's a foul underneath. Guadagna still struggling from the outside. Oh, out of three. First triple for LPU coming from Hato Barba. And Lorenz Mahubat, how about this guy? Back up, bumuelo lang pala. Para dun sa tres na yon. Lorenz Mahubat now with eight in the game. This is a certified scorer coming from uh, the junior team from Papua. Red Robins just a few months ago. Yep. Rookie veteran eh. <laughs> Bagong luma. Ano to eh? Hinug na hinug na, hinug Brad. Na, uh, 20 anos, nasa high school eh. Yeah. sila ni Hubilia. Si Hubilia din eh. Ayan, yeah, totoo. Saka yung isang taon, dalawang taon, kalaban mo mga 16. Uh, Mamamain mo talaga. At eh, pagdating mo sa seniors, pinamama din nila. That's right. Nahanap to muna sa Dilon Cebu. Escamis. Now, beats the shot clock. Mabua is on fire from long distance in the third. Escam is now in double figures. Mapua with their largest lead so far. Peña Fiel. El Piyu nagahanap ng kasagutan. El Fao Naitinawa. How about the Mapua Cardinals? Look at this. Bailout. Escam is draining it from the right wing. And weaving out the web afterwards. Yeah, time out muna tayo. Coming into NCAA Season 100, the main theme in the mind of the league's reigning most valuable player is redemption. Uh, we call it baby redemption season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clint Escamis is looking like a man on a mission, and his endgame heroics against Perpetual showed exactly that. Escamis for three, Clint Escamis! Oh my goodness! The Mapua Cardinals are starting to find their groove behind the leadership of their floor general, as they have now won three straight games. Triple on the other side. He's narrowed this one away. Clint will serve! In the game, they just got a three-point shot. But here, they need four in the quarter. And a lot of those coming from opportunities, except for that three of Clint Escamis that was in the shot clock. They need to hit. But most of them coming from strong side help, extra passing, hunting for those open shots. And up to you, unable to find the answer so far. It's Simon Peña Fiel heading to the line here. He'll take a couple of shots. Peña Fiel provided the energy earlier in the second frame. But he misses the first. Again, they need every opportunity that they can find. One out of two for Peña Fiel. Full board pressure. Now applied by LPU. We'll see if this will work against an equally fast Papua team. Abdullah. Ang uh, magmamando para sa Mapua. Now it's with his comments from the left flank. Abdullah. They go to Recto here. Recto attacking the D. Catch and shoot. Cuenco. Kaboom! Again, coming off that post up. Veer switch. Naligaw si Villegas. Relocating on the corner. Rumotate yung tao ni Cuenco. Hitting in stride. Itong si Recto papunta kay Cuenco. Good luck on that three-point shot. Oh! Pagsak si Escanis. Peña Fiel to the running Barba. Barba! Throws it away. Cuenco is on the move. Cyrus is able to draw the foul. Forcing numbers to Mapua. Maganda makita alit yung... Kasi screen and roll. Ayun, nagkaroon ng post-up. May veer switch eh. Tapos kailangan humelt ni Barba. Nakatalikod dun sa tao. Sai Cuenco, shot maker. Cyrus Cuenco also forcing the issue down the fast break play. You like how Recto 
waited for the slight help of Tony Atuobaga uh -huh. to give Cuenco to Taylor. Tumalikod. Kasi kayo nung magiging naka-post up kayo, wanna see saan magagaling yung doubler mo, ano yung adjustment nila. Kadalasan, laging sa opposite side. Kasi strong right si JC Cuenco. So magagaling sa right side niya yung double para pag-pihit niya. Tapos bababa lang yung nasa taas, which is tao ni Cuenco. Rotate sa corner. Good skip pass. Three-point shot. Kahit hindi mo may score si Recto. You know, he only has two points. Kanina, six rebounds in in the first shot. Oh, ito. Pangwalo na. Oh, Recto follows it up. JC Recto. Second field goal for JC Recto. Four points, eight rebounds, and three assists with two steals. Montaño. They need this. They don't get it. And Makua trying to run away with it. Inside pass is anticipated by Kunanan. Villegas, he passes the second half. And he draws the foul. Might be the right time for Renz to explode here as Wayne or Rector rather. Wow. wow. And I thought LPU had a good bounce out position, huh? but Renzo somehow gets it and hoops with the left hand. Ngayong taon, maamo bola sa Mapua. Maamo. Saka masipag kasi sila eh. Yeah. Compared to other Mapua teams, uh, they had uh, Jobet Soriano, Warren Bonifacio, Paolo Hernandez, Peter Rosilio, when they made the finals last year, medyo slow rock yung execution nila eh. Ito, effort players lahat eh. Uh, yeah. Tapos may mga point of attack sila, tatlo, Hobilia, si Cuenco uh, tsaka si Escamis yeah. tapos sa kapalibot may outside shot pati higlihan ito pinira sa labas okay. lahat pati yung dumipenta lahat switchable recto pa pala yeah. that's actually a great point coach yung mga player ngayon ni coach Randy lahat ng mga baka bigs niya pati itong mga guardia na wings niya magkakasin laki oh, oh. wala kang kailang ipastol hindi mo kailangan magbaba ng bola ng mabagal you know, lahat naka-attacking. And Cyrus Cuenco is able to draw the foul. So Mapua looks to extend the lead. 41 and change remaining. Saka when they play, ramdam mo na trabaho sa kanila ito. Tinatrabaho talaga nila. And every win, parang yung mga nakaraan nila mga panalo, grind it out eh. And they're used to grinding it out. They don't care if they win ugly as long as they win. Yeah. They don't care if they, it's a 20-point win, it's a one-point win as long as they win. That's right. Sai Cuenco, six points, but he's missed his last three free throws, and he finally makes one there. Rekunanan. LPU staring at a 15-point deficit. Montaño shortstop. Montaño, finally. Montaño! That's one to go in. And somebody that needs to uh, get a little bit more going. Sigail Montaño. He's got seven. Montaño kinukulit si Cuenco. Mangubat, recto, inside. Yes! Edward Ryan scores. Final shot time for LPU. That's a foul. Not a good one for uh, Reto as they are in the penalty. Ryan is down on the floor after colliding with Montaño. Oh. He is holding on to his... Oh, yeah. Did you review that? Tapos na yung play. Inadvertent contact na yun, eh, di ba? Tapos na yung play. Eh. Tumawag na rito, so it takes takes an extra motion. Tapos i-review pa. Tapos na yung play. Eh. May pito na don, so non-reviewable na dapat. But pag may violent know. play, yun ang... Uh, no, no, tapos na yung play kasi nangyari na yung foul sa taas. Yeah. So, tapos na yung sequence doon. Magkatamaan sila doon sa ilalim. Unless na sobrang violent. Kasi he's attacking That's to the rim. That's true though. Yeah. Oh, but we'll see. The, they can make the retroactive call. Pero, Which is surprising, huh? even in FIBA, they don't do that. Sa FIBA, uh, they yung, don't. Unless uh, it's obvious. Yeah. Retroactive calls, it's a no-no. Yeah. So, tignan natin. Ang alam ko lang na retro, ano retroactive lang kasi yung mga is it a two pointer or a ah, okay. three pointer? Three pointer. Oh, yun yung yeah. mga retroactive calls. But yung mga actions like that. 
Okay. Ayan, tama. 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 Walang, walang tole. Nangyari yun is after the play. Yeah. After the play has happened. Okay, you, can, you can't make retroactive because eh di lahat ng tama tatawagan ng foul. Di ba? I mean, uh, ako lang yun as a fan. Kasi may contact talagang nangyayari. Inadvertent. Minsan. Yeah. If it was like within the sequence oh. or the play. Kasi kung ganun ang mangyayari, lahat na ng contact, i-co-contest ng mga yeah. coaches. Gamesmanship na yun eh. Yeah. Di ba? So, Montano connecting on the second. 8.2. Riso Villa. Back on the floor for one final possession para dito sa Mabuwa Cardinals. They go to Mahoban. Lawrence. Lawrence feeding Rubilia. Uy, who just missed at the rim. And time will expire the in the, the third. It was Imapua third quarter. We just witnessed they lead it by 14 points, 54 to 40. Pagbalik natin, we shall uh, proceed with a payoff period fourth quarter of this game.